Online sports betting in North Carolina officially starts next Monday, and it's expected to generate millions of dollars in taxes. News 13 Savannah Denton is here in the studio with where officials say that tax revenue will go. Savannah. Patsy, research from the North Carolina General Assembly estimates that sports betting will generate more than $60 million in taxes the first year, reaching $100 million in the fourth year. After the $2 million for gambling, addiction, education, and treatment programs, and $1 million to expand the state's youth sports opportunities, 20% of the remaining sports bet tax revenue will be equally distributed to 13 schools in the state to support their athletic departments. Each school could get a minimum of $300,000 a year. The athletic director for UNC Pembroke says the timeliness of sports betting becoming legal is a huge blessing. After COVID, the university offered more online classes, but those students don't pay the athletic fee. Um, so while overall enrollment has gone up, there are less students who pay the athletic fee. So uh, we're really, really appreciative to the Board of Governors for doing the economic impact study and working with the legislature to see how timely this was to be able to marry up a brand new revenue stream and address what was really a critical need for all the athletic departments. Sports betting is not legal here in South Carolina, but the North Carolina Lottery Commission told me that as long as you're within North Carolina state borders, you can place as many bets as you'd like from one of the eight licensed operators. Reporting in the studio, back to you.